Whether you want to record and replay your landings or takeoffs, or sit in the back of the aircraft to watch your flight through through the eyes of the passenger. Replay tools in Microsoft Flight Simulator have quickly become quite the necessity. Well, in today's video, I'll be showcasing the one I use, the replay tool I think is the best for Microsoft Flight Sim that goes by the name of Sky Dolly. Let's get right into it. Okay, so a bit of background to Sky Dolly. We'll show you how to download it and get it installed in a minute. But I've been using it for a few months now, and when I've been making Microsoft Flight Sim cinematics or on live streams, watching back my landings, or just generally in videos to film a bit of B-roll, it's what I use all the time. I find it the best compared to um, other applications I used to use, like Flight Recorder, simply because I think it results in a really smooth experience. The aircraft just looks smoother. There's also some really interesting and frankly helpful features, some of which I'll be showing you today. And you can download this for free with the with the link in the description. This is only on PC and I imagine it will remain only on PC. As we know, the default Microsoft Flight Sim Replay tool isn't that good just yet. So sorry if you're watching this and you play on Xbox, I do apologise, but this application will not work with you. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to hop over to flightsim.to and I'm just going to briefly run through how you install it. Okay, so here we are on flightsim.to, click the green download button, of course, and then once it downloads, you should be greeted with a zip file, which you can see down here. You're going to want to open that and extract it, I'm not going to do it today because I've already got it open, so that'll probably cause a conflict, but you're going to see a .exe, you're going to want to run that, and that should basically open SkyDolly up straight away, there's not really any setup required except for that. And then when you open it up, you should be greeted with something that looks a bit like this. Now, I've got 50 or so flights in my logbook so far, some of them really short, some of them very long. Um, as you can see, it's giving me exact dates down the left-hand side here, exact aircraft type, departure time, arrival time, number of aircraft, all that sort of thing. The logbook, of course, is showing all the flights I've recorded in the past, all 50 of them across three months since June. Pretty nicely laid out, a really good feature and good backups as well. Okay, so now we've had a decent look about some of the features uh, early on explained, I'm now going to show you how to use it in Microsoft Flight Sim. So to record, all you're going to want to do, and it is very self-explanatory, is click record. We're now recording. If you don't see record or if you can't click it, you might want to click something like pause or stop. It may very well be that you accidentally clicked it or you were replaying a previous flight. Chances are that if you've downloaded it for the first time, it should be perfectly fine and ready to record. You can confirm it's recording by the clock in the right corner ticking up to show you recording time, the red recording button being illuminated and somewhere in your logbook there being a little red icon next to the plane you're flying, so we're in the 152 Aerobat. It means it's recording, we're ready to go, let's taxi over to the runway here at South End, remove parking brake. There we go. Now while we're taxiing over, let me speak about some limitations, just like every other recording tool in Microsoft Flight Sim, it doesn't have 100% accurate results. The main thing it's going to get right is where you are in the sky and how much power you are putting in. It might get gear right, it might get flaps right, it might get spoilers right, it might get lights right, but it's not guaranteed. It can be quite unpredictable and I do find in some aircraft, like the A320NX, you might even get an engine shut down now and then. It can normally be amended by going in the cockpit and just waiting and it sorts itself out. But it's just something to bear in mind, just like every other replay tool in Microsoft Flight Sim, it's not perfect, but in my opinion this, is, this one is the easiest to use and the smoothest. So we're recording, we're ready to go, let's get up in the sky now. I'm going to go full power basically because we're in a tiny little plane. I'm not going to do anything properly, I'm just showing you for the sake of the video. Quite a bit of right rudder to get back onto the centre line today. Now flip over to left rudder. Sweet, there we go. Right, 55 knots, pull back now. And there we go, we're up in the air very quickly in the Cessna 152 Aerobat. 
and Sky Dolly is recording every single move we make as a plane. It's not recording everything we do as a pilot. For example, if I mess around with the radios, it's not doing anything, it's not recording us messing around with this. It's just recording what we're doing with the yoke and the throttle. Now if I reduce power and bring down flaps, we're in the green arc, so we'll go to a slow safe cruise. It should portray our flap movement there, but no guarantees. Now turning, it will pick that up as well. It's going to do everything you'd expect a float recorder of this manner to do. Now flying on the downwind, you can see beautiful Southampton Airport by Orbex. Now let's swap over to landing. Okay, so welcome to approach here at Southampton runway... I don't know what runway this is, 20, basically. We're coming close to the white arc, which means we can get some flaps down soon. Let's get some flaps down now. There we go. Really feel it in the 152. Hopefully Sky Dolly picked that up fine. A bit of power reintroduced. Right, we're going to get our second stage of flaps down now. And that should carry us really over to the runway. And there we go, a pretty decent landing. Let's see how Sky Dolly caught it. So I do recommend come to a stop before you do anything with replay at all. Whether that be taxiing to your gate or just stopping on the runway, just make sure you stopped because it will save you a lot of problems. If you start Sky Dolly in the air, it will work perfectly fine, and of course it will. But I do find that increases the chance of some weird things happening, such as your engines shutting off. Now heading into Sky Dolly, you can see still recording, so to stop recording, click the red button. You might have to wait a second, depending on how long your flight is. And now you have the recorded flight ready to replay. It will tell you how long it is, so you can see our circuit here at Southampton was 5 minutes, 58 seconds long, basically 6 minutes. You can see how long it took, what time we departed and arrived, what aircraft we were in, date, and if you recorded more than one aircraft, how many aircraft you used. Now many will feel tempted to drag the slider first. You can see if we do that when we slide ourselves into midair, I have full control of the aircraft. So let's not do that. Let's click play first. And now it's replaying what we did. So you can see this time it did pick up our flaps correctly. You just saw them come down there. Let's head outside. I do find Sky Dolly works better with a Sobo aircraft than it does some payware or freeware online, but all in all you can use it with anything. But just look how smooth Sky Dolly is, the aircraft isn't stuttering about, it's honestly the smoothest float recorder out there, much better than FS Recorder or even some payware alternatives, I do find it's the best. Let's hope that Sky Dolly picked up our second stage of flaps coming down. And there you go, decent landing. And there we go, we've come to a stop. Bit of a lag there with uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, but yes, that is basically it. That is Sky Dolly. Now, to go through a few of the advanced features, you can do stuff like rewind, which, as you guess, click play and then click rewind, and as you can imagine, it will rewind you into the air. You can hold it and release and it should put you back into the air like so. Let's just pause it there to speak about some other features. We've got replay speed here which funnily enough puts you at a different speed. So if you want to go slower, now this can be used if you want to get some cool cinematics and not stress your system out too much, then this will allow you to slow it down or indeed speed it up. Just like so, pretty cool, pretty fun, can't complain. Sky Dolly also has some really neat features such as formation flying, which I don't really get personally. I've used it, but I do find it's a bit temperamental. Let me just show you how that works. So let's pause here and come over into formation. As you can see, 
we've got our aircraft here now you can add other aircraft and it does depend on what formation type as you can see in the bottom left corner here for example we can fly with the formation of ourself this one's quite fun to be fair all you need to do is click that and it puts you right next to your aircraft now it's not exactly an optimal location being right here on the grass so let's put ourselves behind the aircraft just like so by clicking the icon and then all you can do really is replay your aircraft as it is as sort of AI I imagine so you can see it lands basically on top of us and then you can fly with it so if we get the aircraft taking off you can see we're now sitting next to the aircraft back at takeoff with formation so showing you the formation menu you can see we've selected this one and we're using that aircraft as our base you can I believe do it with different aircraft but it doesn't work so well so I do recommend you in the same aircraft type here you can see let's go place us a few seconds ago a bit weird I don't know how quickly we took off so maybe stop now <laughs> all in good fun, all in good fun. Most of you are going to be watching your takeoffs and landings. So I do think this is a pretty minute feature, but there we go, we're taking off now, let's go chase him. It's a pretty cool feature, but as I said, it's not the main feature. So if you would like me to talk about this in more detail, do let me know. It's basically multiplayer without the friends at this point, isn't it? That's kind of what it feels like, but a nice feature to have nonetheless. And if you get it right, it can be really fun. Look at us now, we're, we're right next to them. It's really good fun. A very nice feature and one most other replay tools don't have, so I guess that's another plus. But you can see, because Sky Dolly does pick up lag, it can be a bit weird at times in terms of replicating that lag. Let's just pause here for the sake of it to talk about some other features. We have got a few other types of replay where, for example, you can take control of your recorded flight or just fly in formation with aircraft following a pattern you designate. I'm not going to go too much in detail here because a lot of it is quite confusing and to be fair, I don't get it. A new feature as well is we do have locations you can save or teleport to. So, for example, Paris, if we click stop up here and then teleport it takes us finally enough to Paris well hey bit of lag as we load into Paris it's a new feature and once again it's what sets Sky Dolly apart it's really cool to have some extra features like that and hey we can record ourselves over Paris by clicking record and as everything loads in around us we can fly easy knowing that our movements are being recorded by Sky Dolly. Compared to the default Microsoft Flight Sim recorder, you can have full control over your cameras, which in my opinion is a must have. Sadly, however, you can't record your camera movements yet, even if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, maybe getting smart with some cinematics. But to be fair, this is as good as it's going to get. Nonetheless, it's a really cool add-on to have. I do realise we're in the white, uh, over the white arc, and we've got some flaps down. My instructors would not be happy. Sky Dolly is packed with features, and I've only touched on some today. Just remember the fundamentals. Click the big red button to record. Click it again to stop recording. Click play to go through that flight again. Just coming out of replay for a second. It is ridiculously easy and I've probably overcomplicated parts of it, so please just give it a go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Taking a look at Sky Dolly, I use it all the time as you've seen throughout this video. I've shown you what I've been able to do with it using drone camera and replay tool. It's an absolute dream. I do recommend it and remember it's freeware available on PC only. A big thank you to the creator. He's done an awesome job. From me today, that is all. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.